What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. So I have something a little exciting to share with you guys today. It's not like any super big news or anything, but you know, it's a little something that I wanted to share. So, I got a new piece of jewelry. And it's very important for one reason. This piece of jewelry represents being a survivor. As you guys know, if you've watched my entire channel by now, or if you've seen my story, then you know I am um, a survivor of um, childhood sexual abuse. So, I like calling myself a survivor rather than a victim because it just feels more empowering, you know? I don't like, I can't say playing the victim because quite naturally, yes, I am the victim. However, I don't always want to put myself in a position to where I'm, where I feel like I'm playing the victim, you know what I mean? You know, I feel like I've done that enough because of things that were against me all my life because of this issue. So I've just gotten kind of tired of playing the victim, if that's what you want to call it, because a lot of people call it that, even if they haven't been in this situation because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. And they just automatically say, oh, you're playing the victim because you keep talking about it and you keep talking about it. But hell, if you don't talk about it, then who else will? Anyway, I like to call myself, I consider myself a survivor because I did, I survived. There are many women who do not survive abuse like this. They don't, they don't make it. They take their lives early or they end up doing something completely off the wall, like they go on this spiraling path of self-destructive behavior and they don't end up in a good place, you know? But like, hardly ever. They don't really end up in a good place or, you know, they've wasted 30, 40 years of their life making extremely bad decisions and again, I could have been like that. That could have been me. Now, those people are still considered survivors because they're still alive. But, at the same time, it's like... So I consider myself a survivor because I survived this incident. I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm still well, living, you know? Life's not the best, but you know, it is what it is. I'm still alive, I'm still here, I'm still able to talk to you guys. And I'm glad I'm able to talk to you guys. <laughs> so, that being said, the jewelry, the piece of jewelry that I got represents being a survivor. Now, if you guys have seen this before, there's a movement where it shows like a semicolon for survivor status. Basically, they mostly target that to people who have tried suicide and um, it didn't work. Either it didn't work or somebody was able to save them in time so they're still here. You know, but either way, I mean, it doesn't matter because I've never exactly attempted suicide. However, I almost did years and years years back. Like, when I was a teenager, I had many thoughts. I was very suicidal at the time. Like I said, I never attempted it because I was a little bit stronger than that for some reason. But either way, I had suicidal thoughts. You know, this is for anybody who's ever had suicidal thoughts, for anybody who's ever had depression, Anybody who has PTSD, anybody who has CP CPTSD, yes, that's the thing, look it up. <laughs> anybody who's ever had, you know, even anxiety, like any, any type of trauma, you know, a lot of people out here have trauma regardless, and the only thing you can do is try to survive the trauma, that's all you can do. I've heard some crazy stories, I've heard stories crazier than mine, you know, those people are survivors, so... This movement is about celebrating people who are survivors. So, I got myself this, um, ring. Hold on, if you can see it. Come on, focus. It's a semicolon, if you can see. It's like a silver, um, Semicolon. I wear it on my pinky because right now, um, this thing cannot, I kind of got the wrong size. Didn't mean to. Um, it came from China. You know, how Chinese stuff is very small. <laughs> so yeah, I got size 6. I thought I was going to be a size 6 because, you know, my fingers aren't that big. But, you know, years ago I was a 5, so I thought I'd get a 6 because, you know, I've gained weight and whatnot. But, 
this shit don't fit no other finger. I'll just say that. So, I keep it on my pinky. Like, if I wanted to, I could put it on, on my ring finger, but it can get stuck very easily. And I have to, like, wash my hands or put some lotion on just to get it off. And I'm not about that life unless I'm going out and I really want to stay on instead of, like, being loose. Because my pinky is loose a little bit. But, whatever. Either way, I'm not returning it because, no. <laughs> So here's the ring, it's just a semicolon, it just represents um, your life didn't end at that point. You all know how to use a semicolon, hopefully if you're grown and you know your fucking punctuation by now, you know what a semicolon stands for, you know how to use it. Because these days a lot of people don't even know how to use it, which is ridiculous, but you all know that's the case a lot of times. But yes, the semicolon represents the fact that my life still goes on. It does not end. It doesn't end when my trauma ended. It doesn't end with, it doesn't completely end with the aftermath or none of, or any of that. I just have to rewire myself. I have to find myself again. And I have, I have found myself again and I've been extremely happy. And this ring just is a reminder of where I'm from and the fact that I'm still alive so I'm really happy um I didn't even have to pay for this it was just the shipping all I had to do is pay for the shipping so I got really lucky um you don't know how those companies are it's like oh well it's free you just pay for shipping that's how I got this thing I'm very happy um if you're interested I'll put their like either website or Instagram page or something down below so you guys can get one if you want to go get one. I'm quite sure they still have the sale. I'm not sure if this is a ongoing thing, but um, I'll leave their information if you're interested in going to get one of these. They have all kinds of jewelry like this. I think they, they have um, like necklaces, they have like, they have gold rings I believe, they have all kinds of fancy looking things, but this is the one that was free because I was not trying to pay no, no $20, $30 for no piece of jewelry, <laughs> you know. But yeah, that's um, that's it. That's pretty much it, guys. The semicolon represents my survivor status. So I'm gonna be walking around raising my pinky, looking fancy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not really, cause anybody gonna know what the hell I'm doing. So whatever. Either way, I'm happy. I got it for free. I paid about eight dollars for shipping. I think. Yeah, the shipping was like seven ninety nine. That's all I paid. So can't beat it. You know? It made me happier and. Like I said, that's my new piece of jewelry, and yeah, I'm happy, I'm glad that I got it. I'm happy to be a survivor, I'm happy to be able to even be here talking about this. I'm just happy for that, I'm grateful, very, very blessed and grateful. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe, I have plenty more coming. I'm sorry for the delay of the videos. If you guys did not read my um my last YouTube community post, if you go look in the community tab, I post there, you know, if there's something I want to tell you guys about the channel or whatever, and um yeah, the internet's been out over here. Um Comcast, aka Xfinity, has um there's been a lot of power out not power. There's been a lot of internet outages all over Georgia, so They've been trying to work on that, and it's been days, and it ain't been on yet, so, you know, we'll see when it comes on. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.